So, I told you I started jumping rope, right? You did? It's actually insane. Like, yeah, sure, you get ripped and stuff like that, but you should have seen last weekend. I was just at the park, just whipping around like I do. You I know, know how you whip. You know how I do. I know how you whip the so I was whipping that jump rope. These two just drop dead sexy girls come up to me and just yeah. start attacking me, dog. I go into public places and I'll just start jumping rope immediately. Ass grabs. It's Girls are like grabbing my butt. Honestly, it's kind of dangerous. You want to look like a god? Two things. Do this workout and work out when it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon when the sun's coming down. Why? because the lighting makes my body look like I'm a god. We're gonna be doing eight exercises, high intensity interval training, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and heck, you know what? If you wanna go in with the Zen dudes, click the link below and join our free seven day jump rope fat loss challenge. Hey, let's get in the workout. All right guys, to start things off, we're gonna do jump rope single leg. So follow Brandon and switch from your right to left when he does. Again, I know I always say it, Regular bounce fundamentals guys from Brandon's torso upwards. He's got his elbows in wrist jutting out from the sides of the hips Very little movement and he's only coming about one to two inches off the ground. That's perfect If you need to do regular bounce and you can't do single leg, that's totally fine guys Remember in terms of physique you can still get just as great of a workout if you never do any jump rope tricks But you can swing a weighted handle rope pretty fast without messing up you will have an amazing body. So don't get discouraged if you can't do all the tricks. It's more so about can you follow through with the fundamentals. So next up guys, jump rope mummy kicks. Now all we're doing here is staying on the toes. You should always be on your toes when you're jumping rope, but here we're slightly kicking the foot out and alternating it. So think of just running in place, except instead of kicking the feet back, you're tapping them from your toes to slightly out. So tap, 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 and just a very small range of motion guys it doesn't need to be this this big you know thing that's gonna make you mess up and of course you saw Brandon mess up there guys mess ups are totally fine and they are also inevitable so don't freak out and be like oh my god it's so hard just get back up and do it again okay <laughs> all right guys next up high knees go at your maximum intensity for these you can see Brandon's coming the whole way up he's bringing his knee the whole way to the middle of his torso which is what you want don't flake on me guys don't go low don't go low intensity get them up there get the knees up there remember all you got to do is do this for 30 straight minutes and then you're done you don't have to work out the rest of the day because you just busted your ass so get in get intense and then make sure you guys get on with with the rest of your life all right, so today's structure is a little bit different, by the way. I noticed that we're, I, I noticed. I gave you guys two jump rope exercises, then two body weight, then two jump rope, and then two body weight again. So here comes the body weight calisthenic portion. This is the three step twist. As you can see, Brandon is going middle, right, middle, left. And as you can see here, Brandon is just using his body and turning his hips while his shoulders are pretty much staying straight forward. That's exactly what you want. Very little movement, whether in jump rope or bodyweight exercises. Efficiency and correct form is much more important than looking like you're going balls to the wall and looking like you're going really hard. Good guys, next up, back to jump rope. We're going jump rope, heel tap, jump rope, heel tap. So you don't need to tap your heel every single swing of the rope, but if, as you can see, Brandon's swinging it, and then every second one, he's tapping the alternate foot out. Now this is something like riding a bicycle. It's a little bit difficult to get this rhythm down. Um, if you're a good dancer, this will come naturally to you. Um, but otherwise, as you can see, Brandon started off not being able to do this at all, and he's really good at it. So don't get discouraged, guys. All you're doing is tapping the heel out, clicking it, and pulling it back in. Good, all right, next guys, the last jump rope exercise of this workout. We got jump rope fast skip. Now this looks a little bit like heel tap, except what you're doing is you're stutter stepping on the foot that the rope's coming around on. So what I mean by that is if you can see here, Brandon is just skipping, and then when he pulls his foot up, he's kicking that same foot back while the other foot comes down for the first time. So think of this as it's very similar to boxer skip, 
but it requires a little bit more agility, of which we will of course be doing a tutorial. I'll show you the tutorial in a little bit here. Good guys. Two exercises left, and guess what? They are body weight. So, to start things off, we are gonna be doing side leapfrogs, Brandon. So we're gonna be doing side leapfrogs, guys. Brandon is just jumping back and forth while maintaining that good position with his body. He's not bending over too far, but he's still being explosive enough, explosive enough, excuse me, to get something out of the workout. See how he's pushing off from side to side? That's really what you wanna do here. This is meant to be explosive because that's how your body burns more fat in less time. It will only adapt to the inputs you give it. So if you work out at a slow pace, guess what? Expect slow results. But if you work out at a highly intense pace, you'll be able to accelerate your fat loss while hanging on to your lean muscle mass. And last one, guys, the plank side toe touches. All Brandon's doing here is maintaining a plank and then very, in a very composed manner, swinging his feet out to the right and to the left. This is great for, um, it's a little bit more advanced than just a regular plank because you're engaging um, the sides of your, your abdominals, which are your obliques. And so it's like a plank, but just a little bit more challenging. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Zen Dude Fitness Workout Wednesday. We'll see you on the next one, guys.